Lovely, lovely Piper. So there she is, the Piper. And it's looking very, very nice. This is the sports cat section that we fitted, keeping it keeping it obviously legal for the road. And then as you can see, the M2 system, which is the same one that I've got on my car as well. Uh, so it will sound pretty nice, I think. Um, so now it's time to go and get her on the dyno. Well, actually, Rich is just gonna put a tray back on, an under tray, but then it's, uh, yeah, back on the dyno. Oh, sorry, on the dyno, we'll get a map. Well, here she comes. Time to get some Ecotec on it. Okay, so this car's actually started really, really well with over 200, uh, 218 brake horsepower in, in actuality. So a very, very good start, a strong start for the mods that it's got because it's got a Tegua airbox and a uh, Piper manifold sports cat and M2 cat back. And that's it. So it's done pretty well. So now Richard has flashed the Ecotec race rob onto the ECU so he can start data logging and do his thing. How are you, Richard? Uh, okay, it's Friday. It is Friday. You were liking the little fishy, weren't you? I was liking his little fishy on his check, stereo, yeah. Check that out. That's pretty special. It looks good because it gets closer and it gets bigger as it gets closer to the front of the screen. It was entertaining me. I like it. Oh, yeah, here he comes, look. Mm. Very good. Can we map him? Uh, I'm not sure. It'd be ace if he came back and it was a shark. Fantastic. Well, that's keeping us entertained. So um, we've done our initial power run. Richard's just put the race run onto the ECU, and now we're going to start tuning, aren't we, Richard? We are in the. Quite similar to the one we did yesterday, power-wise. Uh, yeah, almost identical. We are using the same, well, started off with the same base file. I'd take some fuel out, so I'd have ported in that manifold, this didn't. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm just having a go with... Well, Sam's making a lot of noise, mate. Hi mate, are your arms hurting? Yeah. Oh, bless you. My eye hurts. And, and your eye hurts yeah. and you've got crap all over your face. Yeah. Bless you. Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Right, mate. 
I didn't even know you were here today. What time are we on now? About half two, three o'clock? I didn't even know you were here. Uh, ten past three. What do you mean you didn't know I was here? Oh, I didn't know you were here. I've been in the office, man. Oh, have you? Oh, doing no. I've been usual. booking. That, that diary is booked up until mid October. I don't know why you're doing that. I told you I'll retire next week. I just not want, I'm just not appreciated. You don't appreciate, you are appreciated. No. I bought you food yesterday. You did buy me McDonald's yesterday. Oh, well, I bought me McDonald's because it was a little bit milder. It was, so a, bit, it was a bit milder and I thought I'm going to go and buy him a Happy Meal, but then he didn't want a Happy Meal, he wanted a select meal, so that's what he had instead. He asked me what I wanted and still had to go at me because it wasn't manly enough. I did. Because I wanted chicken selects. That's what I got you. I know, yeah, but you said, no, you're not having that, you're having a burger like a real man. Yeah, that's what I did say, I did say that, yeah. But I let him have what he wanted because he was being a little bit mardy. So. I wanted to dip, you know. Cheer, cheered him up. I wanted to dip. Anyway. Anyway. FN2 Civic. FN2. Nice one. Beautiful yeah. silver. Came, came to us this morning. Uh, we've removed the standard manifold, standard cap, the uh, an uprated centre section, de-resonated, I think, uh, two and a half inch, and the standard back box and uh, like little resonators at the back. So they've been deleted and all, all that's not taken off, which is delightful. And replaced know. with Piper Manifold, Piper Sports Cat, M2 uh, midsection with resonator box, yeah. and M2 back box. Yep. Uh, which is two and a half inch. Yeah, generally doesn't fit too bad. Uh, you know, obviously people generally like a bit of a review of the things that were obviously fitting and how well they work and, and how well they fit. Basically, uh, the Piper Manifold's a good manifold, in my opinion. It's a two-section, like the original, which makes it easier to get in and out, because a lot of people struggle with getting the, the four-to-one in and out. It's modular, so you can have a decap very easily if you want one, or you can have a sports Yeah, exactly. Cap. So if you decide, oh, I want to take that out, I want a decap in there, you can obviously swap that section mm -hmm. out, put it in quite easy, as Dan says. We've always got stock of that stuff, because we like it. Yeah, um, and a couple of little issues with the second O2, haven't we, with the Piper uh, Sports Cat and with the decap. They just need to slightly rotate it and clock it round slightly because it forces the O2 sensor into the floor a little bit. Uh, we have put that forward to Piper and sent them videos of what we're talking about. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll change that and run. Uh, like in the instance of this car, we just removed the second O2 sensor, put a bung in, we're mapping that out anyway, so it's not a problem. Um, that's not really a massive, uh, the best solution to that problem, but it is a solution to that problem right now until obviously they get the jigs changed or do whatever they're gonna do with that. Uh, M2, it fits like a cheap exhaust, is basically the answer. Um, you know, you have to I, have. A, I've got one on my car. Yeah, you have to have a little bit of fettling. You have to be accepting that you are going to bend some hangers and you are going to move some hangers. Uh, you know, knock them forward, knock them back, bend them up, bend them down, whatever to make Doesn't the exhaust fit. Doesn't it seem to fit. be the way though with the FN2 exhausts that they all seem to need a little bit of summer? Yeah, they do. Is well, that because of the, the nature of the exhaust, the way it's got like four nights? Yeah, the way it all bends. And to be honest, they're all made by a 12-year-old 12 Taiwanese, 12 Taiwanese girl in a factory in China somewhere or whatever. That's my joke. Yeah. He owes me a pound for I that. Owes me a pound for that. So they're all, they're all made in China. They're, they're mass-produced. They're made, you know, thousands of miles away. They're never going to fit perfect. That's just the way it is. We've accepted that. Some you have to, you know, cut and chop. Some you're just bending hangers. The M2 is relatively good. It's just you've got to be willing to bend hangers and, and do things to, to make stuff fit. Yeah, it's perhaps it, fitting on your driveway, you, you, you might leave your driveway with knocks and bags, but if you've got a ramp and a mechanic that's fitting mm. it, that these things can be addressed and, and pretty, pretty Yeah, I mean, uh, we see a lot of stuff that comes through though, don't we, where people, unfortunately, even with garages, just put it on. They're not willing to put a little bit of effort in and make things fit. They're like, no, if it don't fit, that's it. You've supplied it, I've bolted it up. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. But anyway, nonetheless, we've got it to fit and it fits well. It's not knocking on the floor, it's not doing anything, so that's all great. Uh, it's got a standard uh, intake pipe with a Tegua carbon air box situation. And to be honest, this is the second time we've seen one of these, and both cars did really well on it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. So the really, fed from really underneath, well. aren't they? Yeah, the fed, the fed from down, underneath. Down from to, to here. Yeah, both cars that we've seen with this box on have actually done quite well. Yeah, and done so, well off the bat as well. Yeah. Like, as in, when we have uh, donned this car initially with its modifications on and just ran it in standard four, it made 218. Uh, which you don't see on these. No. You know what I mean? And it seems weird out of this car and the other car, both with the same air boxes on, both made really good power straight off and uh, straight initial really mm. good power. We've made a little bit of power today. We're finishing on 222, but obviously, as always, we've made mid-range, we've made wheel horsepower all the way through the power curve. But like I say, this car made really good power in standard form. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, yeah, it just carried on. And it, we didn't make a lot of peak. But... 
that doesn't matter. It made good numbers. I'd expect around 220 for this setup, and we've we've broke that. So yeah, that's really we're, good. We're really happy with it. It's a three, nice car. Three to four brake horsepower off yours with an inlet manifold on it. So mm. uh, yeah, I'm I mean, happy yeah. With I mean, that. when you consider that, then yes, mm. you know, it's uh, it's done well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's a nice car, is it? And you particularly liked his goldfish on the stereo. I did like his goldfish on the stereo. It's kept me amused that as well. Yeah, I think I, I want one then. That. Probably cause an accident if I had to drive it every day. I'm not sure whether the goldfish should be displayed whilst you were driving. Was, I've just been driving it on the dyno and it's been on the whole time. Oh, has he? He's just been swimming about? Yeah, he's been swimming around on the screen, yeah. Wouldn't it be ace if when you accelerated hard, he came further towards the screen? <laughs> and when you <laughs> braked, he, he went further yeah, away. Yeah, That'd yeah. be amazing. I wonder if you have to feed him. I don't know. No, I think he's all right. Yeah. I'll do some research. Should we have a look that. at the graph? Yeah, come on, let's have a look at the graph. <laughs> the sub just asked if you need a new battery in your in your gun. Uh, no, he says it's going. He said it's getting it's getting, getting slower. slower. It's, it's getting, getting slower. slower. <laughs> says, well, it's got batteries on it. You have to put them on charge. <laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Good good work, Sam. Okay, so red line, as we always say, is how it came in. Blue line is as she's leaving. And as you can see, the there is power to there is power had across the rev range there, which is great. A uh, little bit of peak power, but mid-range gains, as we expect, doing well. And we've finished today a 222 brake horsepower, which is 190 at the wheels. It's fantastic. I like it, man. I like this car. I like them in silver, like Steve's yesterday. Mm. Yeah, that's two silver ones in two days, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I do, like, I do like the silver ones. Yeah. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys, and uh, hopefully we've not bored you to tears. Uh, if today is the day that you decide to subscribe, thank you very much. If you're already a subscriber, well, you know what you're getting. So uh, we'll see you on the next one, won't we, Rich? We will indeed. We will indeed. Savio. Boy, I'll say it again. Light moves pretty fast.